Hey guys, this is Kansai Busker. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the chord shapes for CCR's Bad Moon Rising, and then I'm going to explain using a capo. Um, I'm someone who sings regularly out, um, and my voice changes. It starts really Johnny Cash low, and then eventually it gets much higher. So I'm going to show you. I get closer to the Credence key as my night goes on, but I don't start out there. And this is why I suggest learn songs low, get a good capo and move up. Now you can see, I'll just pop out of the way a little bit. You can see up there, you got a couple choice, uh, choices of G. That's the normal G and um, that, that G is really good for what I'm gonna do in this song a lot, which is it's a rock and roll. I'm not gonna do exactly that, but that's that boogie woogie kind of thing. So if you look at that, you can do that. Just try and show you that that's that's the G and so, so you, you'll see rock and roll tunes do that a lot that a lot that's how they play a long bit of G and you'll see me do that okay um, proud Mary other songs do this really well okay so you've got the G so again you can do a, a big four finger G like that or you can do the normal folky rock G which I'm gonna try to stick to in this one you got a D now remember the D is four strings one two three four that's it okay you got a C now you can see up behind me you can do the five string C you can also do this sort of George Ezra style C where you just move the ring finger up and then put the pinky under it you can do that too Okay, um, that is all. This is what I love about this song. It's not the chords that are the problem. It's actually the strumming that is a bit hard. So I'm just going to show you that. Um, all of the verses just go like this. They go G, G, bass, G. So you just do like that. Sorry, G, D, C, G. Okay, so that is the whole, the whole thing. Okay, that's the whole uh, verses all the time. And it's also what they do in the break too, okay? And in the intro. So it's just G, bass down, D, C, G. Keep going with G. G, D, C, G. G, D, C, G. You can do what you want there. G, G, D, C, G, 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 G. Okay, and then this is the chorus. C, G, D, C, G. Again. C. So the main pattern that I do, look, you can just sometimes do do that. Sometimes you just do, you just do bass chord. I do that in the beginning. Okay. So remember always bass chord. You you very rarely just play the chord. Uh, if you're gonna do this, sometimes, ba ba ba, you can. Okay. But most of the time, when you're actually doing some beat and some strumming, you're gonna go. Tum, tum. Okay, so, and the other patterns that I do for that are uh, bum, 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 bass, down, up, down, bass, down, up, down, bum. yeah, bass, down, up, down, bum, down, okay, so, bass, down, up, down, yeah, so that's the, on the G, I do that a lot, bass, down, bass, down, up, down, up, Bass down, down, down. Okay, so slowly, bass down, up, down, up. And you don't need to hit any of these big bass things here. It's mostly just those, the higher four strings, as in high notes. Okay, so bass down, up, down, up. Bass down, up, down, up. And then 
and I do it again at the end on the G. And down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, okay? So, and you can do sometimes, you do bass down, up, down, up, down, up, whatever, all right? But the main thing is that you just change the cycle. You don't want to do the bass down again for a while until you're setting the new, the next beat. And often that's a new chord, okay? And then the chorus, you just go bass down, up, down, up, yeah, bass down, up, down, up. Bass down, up, down, up, down, up. Bass down, up, down, up, down. Bass down, up, down. G down, up, down, up, down. G down, up, down. E C D C. Okay, so on that, on the chorus, it's basically bass, bass down, bass down, up, down, up, down. 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 Bass down. One more time there. So, bass down, up, down. time let's try that again I'm just screwing it up I'm sorry C down down but just to get the timing right it's C C G G D C G on the chorus and remember the verse is There you go, that's the chords and the strumming, simple enough. I'm mostly a singer, I play a bit of guitar so I can do solo gigs, but um, there you go, there's seven minutes of one of the best songs around. Now, just to remind you guys, I play a G shape. So that was an actual G. If you move the, core, the, the capo up, you can do G sharp, or I think that's an A, I think that's an A sharp. Um, John Fogarty has such a high voice and I sometimes, when I finish my gigs, I'm up there too. But you just play the same thing. So there's your G, D, C, G. So he does. I see. And then the chorus. Okay, there you go. That's 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 how you use a capo. You can get a good Kaiser capo, or you can get a good Shub capo. Um, most of the best capos that I know of are in the states. Even though I haven't lived there in thirty years, they still make very very good musical stuff. Obviously, okay. Grab yourself a capo. Um, I have another video about how to use a capo a bit. I swear by them. Glenn Campbell swore by them too. There you go. Enjoy. Good luck.